have a question about uh, layoffs in the tech industry. I know you guys um, cons consistently say that you don't see a recession happening now or potentially not in the next several months, but a, a reason that a lot of these companies are giving is because of the global, uncertain global economic outlook. Given how you view the economy, would you encourage these companies to avoid layoffs now and wait to see how things shake out? Or, or what's your message to workers who are laid off and are wondering about the state of the economy, given what you say, how the economy is doing? So, you know, I, um, uh, I'd start with, you know, I'd, I'd start with Friday's employment report. Uh, so that was for the month of November. Um, and we saw um, continued um, sort of resilience in the labor market, 263,000 jobs created um, uh, in, the, um, in the month. Um, and, you know, we've been in a historically unique period in the post-pandemic period, but it's worth, you know, just orienting. If you go back the decade prior to the pandemic hitting, so post great financial crisis in that decade, over the course of that whole decade, average monthly job growth was 160,000. So, you know, uh, now the 260 that we saw in November is down from the 600,000 a month that we were seeing earlier in the year, but that's what we expect and anticipate and, and want to see in the labor market that is, is normalizing. So, um, you know, we saw continued strong job growth. If you look across industries, uh, you know, it could continue to be um, solid across the board. Obviously, individual companies will make their own uh, decisions uh, on that front, um, uh, but we continue to have a historically strong labor market um, that is generating uh, job opportunities for people who are looking uh, for jobs or looking to change jobs uh, and take a new opportunity um, with wages rising and unemployment at you know 3.7%. It is a historically good opportunity uh, for workers uh, in the labor market right now. Um, we're obviously, you know, very focused on um, monitoring where we are and where we think we're going. And there are, uh, you know, lots of challenges that we're navigating through economically. But I think that, you know, the labor market and the resilience of the labor market overall at a macro level, and that's what we look at, you know, the economy overall, continues to show a striking degree of resilience.